Hi, my name is Mike Peel. I'm an astronomer at Georgia Bank Centre for Astrophysics at University of Manchester. Um, I'm also, I've been on Wikimedia for about over 10, 11 years now. I'm particularly active with Wikimedia, um, uh, Wiki, well, Wikimedia Commons, but also Wikidata and Wikipedia and how to link the two together. Um, before I start, I should say, oops, um, a point about why blind reviewing isn't necessarily a good idea. Um, I'm a Wikidata user and a Wikipedia editor. I've done some cool things with Wikidata, which I'm going to show you now. I, um, oops, press the right button. I'm also a scientist. I give presentations quite regularly. I know how to write an abstract which will meet the submission criteria, which I think is possibly why I've been giving this talk, because um, the lead um, Wikidata manager, um, sorry, yeah, lead Wikidata manager, um, Lydia at the back, um, also submitted an abstract. Um, and was told, um, the well, feedback she got is this, um, studying, someone studying Wikidata found something, um, no mention of structured knowledge and defined approach, Wikidata was interesting. Um, I think she would have given a good talk, but hopefully I'll um, do instead. So, uh, what is Wikidata? Wikidata is structured data. Um, it's embedded throughout all the Wikimedia projects. Um, so I've put a lot of text on these in case anyone, if, in case I talk too fast, so apologies for that. Um, we can use it as a centralized data store in the same way that we use Wikimedia Commons at the moment as a centralized storage for um, pictures. And we can include information in Wikipedia articles in a very similar way. It's the newest Wikimedia project and the first in a long time. Um, so um, it started in 2012 and I think previous ones are closer to 2008. Um, it's developed primarily by the Wikimedia Deutschland in Germany. Um, uh, and it's supported by the Wikimedia Foundation. And at the moment, there's about 17,000 active editors that are working on the project. There's about 250,000 edits done each day. It varies a lot, so that's a rough number. Um, and there's around 200 bots which are operated by users on Wikidata um, to um, make more structured contributions more um, quickly. Um, and that's what the main page of Wikidata looks like. So, um, how can we link, link Wikidata with Wikipedia? There's quite a lot of different options here. So, the first thing which was done with Wikidata linking with Wikipedia was the um, interwiki links at the side of a, each Wikipedia article, because those had to be duplicated between all the different language Wikipedias in order to get a cohesive um, link structure, which is obviously very ineffective. You've got um, significant duplication of the data. So Wikidata centralizes that, has it all in one place, and makes it a lot more easy to add, to curate, and manage. Um, more recently than that, authority control is a template which is used on pretty much all Wikipedias. I think there's one which doesn't. Um, and that provides links to authority um, records, so the kind of identification numbers for different people um, who are notable. Um, and that now runs, I believe, it, um, certainly on some Wikipedias, entirely from Wikidata. On others, I think it might still be have some local parameters, um, which is a really nice example. Um, you can see maybe at the bottom here, I've just given a couple of examples in English and Italian from the Douglas Adams article, um, and all of that, that is driven from Wikidata. Um, another one is person data, which is an, a template which was embedded throughout all the Wikipedia articles about people, in English Wikipedia at least. Um, had kind of the name, the date, um, day they were born, um, day they died, where they were born and died, and things like that in it. That's now been depreciated in, t in favor of Wikidata as well. Um, something to mention, which um, some people seem to uh, miss occasionally, is Wikidata appears in watch lists on local projects. If you're watching an um, article on uh, Wikipedia and you've got the option in, in turned on to also show Wikidata edits, then you see those in your local Wikipedia. So you don't need to go to Wikidata every time to keep track of edits made to your favorite articles, which is really cool. Um, I should also mention that different projects and um, languages use Wikidata very differently. Um, some use the local language labels, which you can see in Wikipedia, others don't. Um, and they also use uh, very different um, codes to access the information as well. Um, so I'm going to show you some, um, an example which is very different between the English and the French Wikipedia a bit later on. Um, but all of these rely on the same co core data set, which is a really cool thing with Wikidata from my point of view, that you can, have, you can put a fact somewhere and you, it's spread throughout all the Wikipedias um, in a consistent way. 
So on the English Wikipedia, we well, um, I've been using module Wikidata, which is something which has been written, I think, primarily nowadays by user Rexs, but also a number of other editors over the, over the years. Um, so the problem with basic Wikipedia, Wikidata interface um, on Wikipedia is it's rather basic. Um, you can't do some of the more advanced things you might like to do with the data. Um, so module Wikidata basically gives us some extra formatting options. Um, it can disambiguate property values. Um, if you're returning a whole list of um, values, say you've got a list of um, locations associated with someone, then the standard interface will just give you that list and won't link them properly, whereas um, module Wikidata does, so you get individual links for each item on that list um, and so forth. Um, so it's written in um, Lua. Um, I think it's been ported to a few wikis. Other wikis have similar things at similar names, I believe. Um, there's also various other Lua models, modules which exist on um, English Wikipedia and other ones. Uh, one particular one to mention, which a uh, recent project I um, of Doug uh, Rexas, is uh, Wikidata IB, which is um, the aim is to have. Um, black or white list for info box fields. I'll come on to that in a minute um, to describe those. So the next logical um, step from my point of view is the use of Wikidata throughout all the um, Wikipedia's info boxes. So this is um, on the top right of every article. You've got the basic summary of that topic. You've got an image showing what the um, article is about and caption and the core kind of information about that um, topic. Um, so this is all done in a fairly structured data format already, so ideally it should be nice and easy to move over to Wikidata. Um, so how to do this? Uh, well, different language um, Wikipedias have been taking different approaches. Um, so on the English Wikipedia, I'm going to show the example of Infobox Telescope, which is one I've been working on. Uh, it's probably the most um, complete, I think, of infoboxes, uh, certainly on the English Wikipedia, um, driven by Wikidata, and it's quite a good prototype. It's not a very well-used um, template. It's obviously used on temp telescope articles, but there's a few hundred of those compared to tens of thousands of um, usages of other infoboxes. So it's basically a nice test um, case. That you, if things work well here, they'll work well on others, and we can find problems which don't work out quite as well as we'd like using this template um, before we use it on other templates which have a bigger impact. Uh, an important thing to mention is all parameters of this um, template can be overridden locally, so you use it exactly the same as any other Infobox template, except if you don't give the parameters, then it will use Wikidata as the fallback option. Um, so there's examples of this um, at a moment where there's absolutely no um, local transclusions and everything's driven by Wikidata. I'll show you one of those in a minute. There's also ones where everything is still done the old-fashioned way um, with kind of on the local wiki. So it's flexible there. Um, it would be very nice to roll this out across other info boxes. I think it's a big step forward in the way that info boxes um, are constructed, um, particularly having everything centralized brings together all the strengths of the different wikis that um, you don't have just a local community working on it, then you have all the different language communities working together. Because I didn't mention this earlier, but Wikidata is inherently multilingual that you link using Q codes, which um, have a, use the local labels then to do the translation. So um, that's really cool. So this is the South Pole Telescope article. Um, so. It's a t an article which didn't have an info box to start with, but nowadays, um, so you can see this live. This is um, a screenshot, but this is actually how the article looked earlier today. Um, the whole of this info box on the right um, is drawn from Wikidata. Um, also, the coordinates at the top also come from Wikidata. So it's getting the name from there. It's getting, um, so it's getting the name from the local article title, actually. Uh, it's getting the picture and the caption. Um, you can set different language captions on Wikidata, which is cool. Um, all the locations, uh, um, information, and units, and everything like that, and the commons link um, as well. And that's how simple it looks in the article. So gone are the very long um, lists of all the different parameters of Infobox that you normally see at the start of an article, which can be very off-putting for new users coming in and saying, I just want to edit that bit at the top of the article, and there's this massive amount of code that just gets in the way. Nowadays, it's just as simple as a single line. Maybe in the future it could be even less. 
this is the French Wikipedia article, and this is um, again a template which is drawn um, entirely from Wikidata, um, using different um, coding behind it. So this isn't using module Wikidata; this is using a different system, but it's still pulling the same data here. So you can change something on um, on Wikidata; it'll affect both the English um, language and the French language equally. So it's very uh, useful for when you want to add new information here, which isn't already there. You can just um, add it in one place, and it'll, cause, it'll cascade through all the different wikis. And this is the Lithuanian one. This is actually using the same module Wikidata code as on English Wikipedia. It's being ported over there, and the same template in um, Infobox Telescope as well. Um, and you can see all of this is being translated um, automatically. Um, the caption is set in local language on Wikidata. Um, so basically, this image has a series of captions associated with it, and you can just add more for different languages. Um, but everything else is all coming directly from there. And yeah, all the translation of the unit names and everything like that is, is being done automatically. Um, this is what the code of Infobox Telescope looks like, so this is a bit more uh, messy. Um, unfortunately, the examples of kind of the best examples are right at the bottom. I don't know whether anyone, everyone can see those, um, but right at the bottom here, there's a kind of old-fashioned style um, include. So you've just got a parameter, which is when you call it, is being printed out, um, similar to just up here as well. Um, and then you've got an example where it's pulling information from Wikidata. Uh, so if you look at this one slightly higher up, um, so you've got um, invoke Wikidata, you're asking for claim or get value in other cases, property number. This also lets you get a qualifier for that property. Um, and then you can fetch Wikidata. Or if you look at this example down here, it says use the local version first. And if that doesn't exist, then it falls back to Wikidata, using Wikidata. So as I said before, this works identically to how a normal template does on um, Wikipedia. It's just when you don't pass parameters, um, then it pulls information from Wikidata. So the good things about Wikidata. So there's, there's good things, there's bad things, there's ugly things, and then I'll go on to some of the kind of cool possibilities afterwards. Um, so the good things about this, infoboxes on Wikipedia currently use rather horrible article syntax, and we can just get rid of that, which is really nice. Cleans up article editing quite nicely. Um, Wikidata works in multiple languages natively, so you, do, you can um, add a factor one in one language and just cascade it through all the different ones automatically, um, and it'll do the translation for you. Many properties already exist, so Wikidata works based on you've got a property and you've got a value pair, um, and you have to define all the properties in advance, so there's a set of those, and then for each um, individual entry, you can set a value for that parameter and then add qualifiers below that. Um, so many of those properties already exist, um, and most when I was translating the Infobox telescope to use Wikidata, most of it already, most of the properties that were used already existed. There were just a few which um, I had to be dug into to find them. So that's good. Um, there's no more birth death anomalies with this. You have one value for someone's birth date, and that's used throughout all the projects. So you don't have one Wikipedia saying this person died on one day, that other one says it's been vandalized, says it's actually on another day. It's all consistent. Um, and if you do get someone vandalizing it, um, some, uh, a birth date later on, say, then it'll appear on everyone's watch list on all of the languages, so it's a lot easier to catch than if someone's just editing it on one language. So you gain kind of cross wiki watch list strengths there. The bad, there are some things which aren't so good. Um, references currently are a pain. Um, it's difficult to add them to wiki data, it's difficult to transclude them over. This is one thing which needs to be worked on more. Um, it doesn't mean that if you add it data to um, Wikidata and use an info box, it's going to be worse than what's in the info box at the moment because most info boxes, are, certainly on English Wikipedia, are completely unreferenced. The information comes later on. So having um, references um, through Wikidata in info boxes would actually be an advantage, a strength later on. Um, there's no easy way to link to data, Wikidata from the template um, and say wh what parameters do you need to add on. So if I just go back a minute, You can see at the bottom here, there's a little edit on Wikidata link, which takes you to Wikidata for that article. That can't then say, oh, you want to add 
the coordinates um, or something else which isn't already in this template. This is a m property you need to use. There's no way to do that. You have to figure out, oh, there's a property parameter, uh, so there's a coordinate parameter, this is how you add it, and hopefully it'll appear in the info box, or you look at the info box documentation. What about vandalism? Um, I've mentioned this already. Um, I have seen some vandalism coming through with um, Infobox Telescope that people have been changing the countries, um, the country name of a, pro a different property, and that's been cascading through into the Infobox. I've seen that be because it's been very quickly undone as well. So it's the same kind of problem, I think, as on Wikipedia, that vandalism does happen. You need to manage it. And hopefully, over time, Wikidata's capacity to do that will be increased, particularly if you can start helping out there. Um, and how do we make sure the info is trustworthy, accurate, and complete? Um, so completeness is always a difficult one um, because, well, if we complete them, job done. That's, going to be, that's a kind of a long way away, I think, for any of the Wikimedia projects. Um, accuracy is a bit easier because you can, well, if you've got a reference or something, then that's good. Problem is, most things don't have references. Trustworthy, it depends on. Oops, sorry. Depends on the quality of the references which are used in Wikidata, I guess, in the long run. Um, there's also some arguments about whether CC0 um, makes information on Wikidata too freely available to be reused, which I don't quite understand, um, because that's kind of what the main reason we're here is, to make information freely available to the world. And CC0 for Wikidata, because you can't copyright individual facts, is a logical one from my perspective. And the ugly, not everything is working particularly nicely at the moment. Um, so um, there's assumed values, uh, also assumed uncertainties on values on Wikidata, so um, they come through automatically. Hopefully that will be fixed at some point soon. Um, again, references of pain. Um, we ideally want to have Wikidata editing directly on Wikipedia to make it a lot easier, a lot obvi more obvious to new users how to edit. Um, Wikidata does, doesn't all have all the properties yet. We need people who can go out and create those and uh, add them to info boxes. And um, Google do seem, need, seem to need to do some catching up with catching information because if you Google South Pole Telescope, you don't get the sidebar that Wikidata, do, Wikimedia, so that Google normally has appearing aside search results. Hopefully that will come along in the future. The possibilities. Um, I've only got about 10 minutes left, so I'm going to go through these fairly quickly and hopefully we can have a bit of discussion some of these, but imagine having common info boxes across all the different languages um, without needing to do any translation when you um, improve them. We're nearly there, actually. That is almost possible now. You um, just need to roll it out across all of them. Um, so it becomes a social rather than technical problem. Imagine only having to specify a fact in one place, and it'll go everywhere it needs to be. So again, examples of some, um, specify someone's gender in one, in one place, and it goes across all of the different ones, or date of birth. Um, imagine being able to assemble a list article in a few minutes rather than laboriously um, creating the whole template structure. This is actually already possible thanks to Listeria. So if you want a list of people that have won a certain uh, medal, say, you can get this immediately. Um, it takes a few minutes to do, which is really cool. Um, Wikisite, what about all of the references at the bottom of Wikipedia articles? Can they be merged into a central database and um, li easily linked to, easily called from different ones so you don't have to keep adding references when you're working on a set of different articles? You can just have it in one place, maybe. Um, imagine you don't have to create a comments category when you've created a new article. You just add the images to the Wikidata entry instead. Um, or, and commons being fully multilingual, uh, based necessarily on categories, but structured in, um, data and with licensing information coming f um, from Wikidata or Wikibase embedded in Wikimedia Commons. We could get rid of Wikis Wiki species, just merge it into Wikidata. It would be really nice. Maybe also commons in the long run. And yeah, what about Wiki Wiktionary? I don't know the answer there. Just to briefly show article placeholders, these are already live on some Wikipedias, I believe. Um, which, and all of this is done um, in Me MediaWiki with um, the modules, the individual boxes coming through Lua. Um, we do have Resonator at the moment, which looks a lot better, has a lot more information in it. It's not on, Wik on MediaWiki, so hopefully um, article placeholder can catch up with this. And that's basically everything I've got. So um, how can you help? There's a few things here. Um, there's weekly summaries that wi um, Wikidata produces, which are well worth having a look at and subscribing to. Have a go join the chat and social media. 
and thanks for listening. So I think we've got time for some questions. Okay, so the question is, or the point is that um, w um, although Wikidata edits appear on watch lists on local language, um, you can get the, it becomes too cluttered because people adding labels in different languages they also show up. Um, in answer to that, I guess I've got two points. One would be uh, we already get, you can get a lot of edits on active articles which have been actively developed already, just minor edits which you don't care about. So this is similar in that kind of sense. Um, once Wikidata becomes more stable, all these labels have already been written, that will become less of an issue. Um, it might also be something to think about with the development of it to just show changes related to that language, which I think might only be specific to the labels and the names rather than most of the rest of the um, content. So it's a good point. The question is that there's um, different approaches taking place on different Wikipedias. Would it be better to do that together, basically? It would be better, I think. Um, I think there's different people who are just experimenting at the moment and trying different things. Um, it would be lovely if we could just had a central newer database where things could be stored and accessed from all of the different um, Wikipedias. We're not there yet. There probably does need to be some more coordination, I think, between what's going on in different languages. Maybe something for Lydia. Um, but yeah, I. Probably it would be nice if we were all working together there. Um, so the question is, what happens to Wikidata once an article's been created and then deleted? I think for recent, uh, when it's an article's been created recently, you don't automatically get the Wikidata one immediately. I think a bot has to then catch up to it later on. So articles which are quickly um, created and then deleted wouldn't end up with a Wikidata entry. Um, where an article has been around for a while, um, has got a Wikidata entry, then if you delete that article, the Wikidata entry stays at the moment, so you would need to go to that Wikidata entry and request that to be deleted as well. It's as exactly the same as you've got an article that someone's uploaded, it's got a picture associated with it, uploaded to Commons. If you delete the article, the picture remains on Commons, you have to go there and request that to be deleted as well, if you want. Does that make sense? Yeah. question over there. So the question is, um, Wikipedia uses CC by SA licensing, Wikidata uses CC0. What happens if you include CC0 information in a CC by SA article? The answer, I guess, is the comp well, it's a compilation which has got the copyright there, so that it ends up being the CC by SA for how it's all displayed in the article, I guess, but it doesn't affect the CC0 licensing. So CC0 is some, it's like public domain. You can include it in uh, another source. Um, and you don't have to carry over rights from that licensing. 
if that makes sense. The license is not effective. Yeah, so it's a, it's a share alike part of the license which cascades down, which is just, which CC0 doesn't have. Infected, not. Yeah, it's viral. Yeah. Any more questions? Yeah. Yeah, you, you, you don't mention Russian Wikipedia, so probably you don't know about uh, Wikidata usage in Russian Wikipedia. Uh, yeah, we uh, started uh, this uh, two years ago, and now we have uh, almost one million articles that uses info boxes, which includes data from Wikidata. Uh, and uh, wha what you're doing now is uh, very close that we, we, we did uh, these trees. And, um, there is many technical issues that you need to uh, fix, uh, and uh, uh, it's not a big problem. But uh, mo mo biggest problem is uh, community, and pe people uh, don't like uh, that uh, there is uh, data from projects that uh, they can't control uh, sh shows in their articles, and it is uh, maybe the biggest problem. So probably we, we need to talk later. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. This kind of social side of it is um, an issue that um, I, I've never really understood this concept of it's on a w different Wikimedia project. It's completely different, completely separate. That doesn't make sense to me. Accounts go across all the different Wikimedia article, Wikimedia projects. So um, they're all and they're all sister projects. If it was a completely external site, then I'd understand why there'd be a problem including information from there. But this is a Wikimedia project, so. You've already got the tools, you've got the account, you've got the knowledge about how to edit wiki wikis. Just hop over to the other wiki and edit there. Uh, any other questions? Oh, Derek? Yeah, so the question is that um, how do you centralise discussions about controversial topics where that's di happening across all the different Wikimedias if the information is coming from Wikidata? And I don't know the answer to that, to be honest. That is a very good question. Um, some sort of centralised discussion place would be an obvious place. Um, yeah. Lydia? So Lydia's point there, just in case anyone didn't hear it, is um, Wikidata lets you put multiple facts there, multiple references. So if you've got difference of opinion, you can have both there, and you can choose which one, essentially, you want to be using on different projects if there's controversy. Yeah. 